boyfriend. boyfriend If he says he's got beef That I'm a vegetarian And I ain't fucking scared of him She wants to touch me woo -woo. She wants to love me woo -woo. She'll never leave me woo -woo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. But children really shouldn't be listening to our show, I guess. Probably not. Whatever gender you identify as, we identify you as our spam, and we love you. We love yes. our spam. Uh, welcome back to another glorious episode of 42 Strains. I am one of your hosts, Surfer Dan, in the house. Uh, to my left is the lovely, the gorgeous, the talented, Ooh. the intelligent... The just plain fucking fun to be around <laughs> Rue. Rue, say hello. Hello, that's a fucking intro right there. My Look, goodness. I'm not going to downplay it. You're amazing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually taking a day off from homework and shenanigans. You so. deserve that. Yeah. You deserve It's been relaxing. It'll keep you sane exactly. throughout, throughout uh, tests and exactly. term papers and all of that nonsense if you take exactly. a day for you every now and then. <laughs> Uh, to her left is Oops. the ebony toned voice, the Ooh. velvety soft, what? I'm not. the velvety <laughs> soft the beard, the handsome Ooh. Chuck Dante. Chuck Dante, how are you? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. How are you feeling over there? I'm stoned. Are you? Absolutely. Is that a man? is that a bad thing or a good thing? Never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. Never. Not for old Chuck D. And uh, to my right is Double A. Double A Hari. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love these intros. I'm underwhelmed by the intro. <laughs> 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 Okay, so Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I have like seven adjectives. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that shouldn't be listening. Oh. Now coming to you from the sunny town of Stockton, California, <laughs> weighing in at, who gives a fuck, <laughs> Double A! Woo! Oh no, I'm sorry, we got to the, the hair dryer, the... Hey, that was just a dark time in WWE. Let's not talk about hey, it. They hey, get real cheers now. Stop to it. be to be all honest here, though, you made a very good salmon, and I want to thank you for that. Oh, that was welcome. a delicious fucking piece of salmon. I'm glad you enjoyed that. That was a great dinner. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Our chef's I, on the show. I, I don't I don't have any other adjectives for you other than my partner in crime, Double yeah. A. <laughs> yeah. Double A, how the fuck nice. are you? Stoned as shit, dude. Shit. Stoned as shit? It's damn Bruce Banner, man. If if you had to... So, like, when you're drunk, you have different levels of drunk. Squiffy, mm -hmm. uh, buzzed, inebriated. I, I go up to Uncle Bobo. Uh, yes. What would you say, uh, if you had to give nicknames to how high you are, how high are you right now? Well, there's, there's high. Yes. There's stoned. Mm-hmm. And then there's, whoa. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm at stoned. You're at no, stoned? Wait, when you say, like, nicknames, are you yes. talking about, like, ways of saying, like, how high you are? How high you are, like, like, yes. Like, pet names. No, like, a, a nickname I'll be like, like, oh, right now I'm at about a honey boo-boo. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm fine with that. If that's I'm, your scale, you're at a honey oh, boo-boo. I'm at a sugar. I'm at a sugar I, plum. Usually yeah. when I'm really, really stoned, I say something's grabbing me by the boo-boos. By the, by the boo-boos? Yeah. Not by the yogi. No, by the boo-boos. <laughs> by the boo-boos. Yeah, boo when, when, yeah. Fair whenever, whenever I'm hey, super stoned, I'll say, hey, 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 Honestly, right now, Lit's I think the, the, I think the best Lit. term would be blazed right now. Are you blazed right because now? Because I'm, for me, like, when I think of She's blazed, blazed, it's one of those right where, now. like, I'm super high, but I don't have that necessarily, like, head fogginess. Like, yeah. you're... High as fuck, but not like scatterbrained. I guess is oh. where what I mean. When I, I, I don't know. For me, that's like what I envision it as. I, I, feel, I love I the know. expression "getting lit." Getting I lit. think that expression's fantastic for getting stoned. I feel. Like, I feel like if lit. I had a nickname for how I am right now, I'm clouded. Clouded. Like I've got a nice thick cloud in clouded my head. Clouded with a chance of salmon ball. Nice. So <laughs> I'm clouded at the moment. Clouded. 
Uh, oh, that song we heard way at the beginning before I did all the jokey <laughs> intro and everything was uh, 303's Don't Trust Me. Yeah. Uh, Don't uh, fun, fun, fun song. I enjoy I enjoy 303. Do the Helen Keller and talk with your hit. Oh. I, I don't like what that implies. <laughs> it implies that Helen Keller was a fucking whore. I, I think I she explored herself the best she could. Yeah. And we should appreciate that. Okay, you're touching all those doorknobs. You ain't gonna touch your own doorknob. Thank I you. just really if that is that, do we need to think about historical figures? Do we that need way? to? No, but why are no. you even asking that question? Why? Abraham we can't help Bangin? Just humanize them because yeah. we do it and they do it. So I mean it makes us it feel makes more like normal. on the same level. She would appreciate how normal it makes her. I understand, but it's not like I often think of most people masturbating. I don't often think about Helen Keller. Or <laughs> but I absolutely, I absolutely I don't think know. about most people masturbating. <laughs> Like, while and you're What a way to live like, life. Oh, I mean, uh, thoughts cross. Oh, oh, oh Albert, Einstein, Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein. If I met you, 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 if I Already seen you pegging yourself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, wow. What a way to live life. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know. Hey, so uh, the strain we're reviewing today is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it's one that I've been meaning for us to review for a while. I hate it already. But the problem wow. was is a lot of shops don't carry it. And recently I found uh, a medical delivery service nice. here in the Central California. California Mostly I California, believe, California, California, California. California. So, t- today, Junior. Knows how to deliver. Uh, but yeah, uh, they no, do no, Stockton, no, no, no. Lodi, Manteca. I believe they do Modesto and Tracy as well. In the uh, city? Zippy in the city. The city of Stockton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Zippy MD. Zippy MD is where I got Bruce Banner. First place I'd seen it from, one of the delivery drivers that delivered it. Because, yeah, I've ordered it a couple times now. Uh, Wait, do you smoke a lot of weed? I what? do. Uh, off. Right now, I believe it's still on the hundred dollar ounce special. So, oh, nice. What? What? There. Get in there. Uh, so we're smoking uh, Bruce Banner, and uh, I believe uh, Rue, because you're the closest to uh, uh, Betty Ross. I think you are going to be the one that's going to be uh, kicking <laughs> off the greens. All right. Um, Sir Ben, quick question. Great. Right. Yeah. Zippy MD, a uh, delivery fee. Uh, I do not believe so. Already if it's okay. over, if it's over a certain amount per area, depending on distance from Zippy. So I believe in Stockton, as long as you do a forty dollar order, which is easy. to So do. if I jumped on one of their hundred dollar ounces, I just have to tip the man. Just and they uh, treat their drivers well. They pay them well, and they uh, make sure they pay for gas and a stipend for phone. They treat their drivers Good. well, so your tip money goes directly to your wonderful driver. Oh, I like that. It is not appreciated, or it is not expected, nice. but it is very much appreciated. Yeah. And their drivers are top notch. They actually, uh, one of the coolest things that they do is when you ask, uh, when you get a delivery, they will send you a text at a certain point saying your driver is on the way. If you'd like to follow them, click here, and it shows you like just like Uber and Lyft, it shows you. The Google Maps of where your driver is driving to get to you. That way you know they're not. Fucking so you know right. exactly how far they're getting. It's they're amazing. Not, they're not stopping. Well, I think I'm going to be. Uh, I think I'm going to be placing an order with Zippy here. I enjoy soon. it. I enjoy uh, it. Zippy. Yeah, I'm place I really an order do. With your Zippy. Uh, so yeah, get that. Get that close to that mic. Oh, smoking out of Theodore. The oh, that's oh. right, Theodore. Yes. yes, Theodore Augustus Gas. Yes. Or Ag- Teddy. Augustus, Augustus Gas. Uh, the kids nowadays. So, uh, uh, how how's everybody doing? Uh, I uh, I've been on Twitter uh, rarely. Uh, uh, sorry about that. It still says I'm pooping, <laughs> but I'm trying to get rid of that. So I just keep running the forty two strains one. And I, I had a nice conversation the other day that I wanted to bring up to everybody on recording. Okay. Uh, it was a conversation with somebody who is a new smoker, and they wanted to know. Uh, And we could talk to her blue in the face about this, and they knew this, and they just wanted to know what could be some of the best things they could say to their older relatives to help explain away some of the stigma. And I explained to them, I don't know if you're ever going to fully explain away the stigma because it's been there ingrained into them either through politics or through religion or or what have you for so long. The dirty hippie smoke weed, Mm -hmm. those are jazz cigarettes. Uh... 
all of those negative inclinations that they tried to put on it, how, if you're using it, that it's helping you, this person was reaching out to us and talking to us about how uh, medical marijuana has saved their lives. Mm -hmm. They no longer have suicidal thoughts on a daily basis Good. because of their daily smoking. Good. And that is a success story if I've ever heard one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when it comes down to it, Especially in mental health if it's saving your fucking day. life, like your choice, hey, Aunt Sandra, you mm -hmm. bitch, you don't want me to smoke weed. However, you'd be at my funeral two years ago by now if it wasn't for this devil's yeah. lettuce. Usually, what do you feel? If that's not the – that to me, right away when they explain that to me, I'm like, that's the that's the thing you say to them. So yeah. Is, yeah, I would but be that's the other thing. The is, are they able to have that type of open communication with that person? Yeah. And and that's – I, I that's didn't a get very, that That's a very point. rough way to say that, you know? It is, Even but if sometimes true, you need to slap the older people in the face but to make now, them believe it. Now, if you're rare yeah. enough to do that, like, there's just – there's always the possibility of other, you know, fallouts and other things that could happen because of the – Way you approach the situation, are you gonna make? But it if you're being or... ridiculed and ostracized because of the fact that you smoke weed by your family, to the point where this person was not well, then, invited then it, to Thanksgiving, then it doesn't oh, wow. really matter at that point. They're not gonna really hear you, are they? Yeah, that's you know, what that, I that point said. It's just you venting. And if that's you what say I it, said. Say but I said if you really want to say it, how I put it is just bluntly. I'd so be just, in a hole in the ground. So just if general it speaking, this. just uh, especially the older generation, like especially the generation of. Heavily relied on alcohol, heavily, heavily relied on cigarettes, and as cigarettes got worse and worse, I usually just throw out the one simple comparison. Cigarettes and alcohol every year kill about the same amount of people as the Holocaust killed Jews. Now, weed has killed zero, and you your whole life, as a person who's probably 50, 60, whatever, have had no issue and no quarrel with these drugs being completely legal, able to sell, even kids being hooked on that shit, and you haven't had one uproar about it, but you're mad about something that's literally Parents never Parents will buy their one teenage person. kids and is now alcohol and is legal, legal, legal in most places. Yeah. Yeah. The moment it's like, that how happens, can you still possibly have that type I know of there's one when point you're just time sitting there being where, a hypocrite? Where I, I found myself very high in a Rayleigh's looking at the Cheeto aisle, and I thought I was going to die by the amount of Cheetos I ate that day. <laughs> but then weed was like, no, man, so, it's okay. Yeah, so, but I don't think that would be technically weed's fault. I think mm. that would be Cheeto's fault. Yeah, I think self-control is something. That you probably. Should probably, well, yeah. a probably. Well, well, we've had a few mean. rounds here uh, where everybody's gotten a couple of hits. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about taste. What do you guys think about taste? taste? Ooh. I would uh. give it a two. You would give it a two? Okay. Yes, because I think it has a nice taste. I just... It, it's nothing special. It reminds me of a nice leafy green just, Sprite. Yeah, it's okay. just nice. I would love to mix this with something to give it more. Okay. Yeah. That's, I've been mixing it quite often with Phantom OG. I just, they, and I would never well give it a it. one because the taste is not bad at all. No, it's not a bad it's taste. It's not yeah. bad at all. There's definitely this, like, sweet pine. Yes. Like, I'm getting some sweet pine, like, mm -hmm. instead of, like, a mint pine. Like, more yeah, than that's what I was going to say, more of, like, Sprite. Yeah, like, wet wood. Yes. Instead of dry. When you unzip yeah. your tent in the morning camping, you breathe in that moist air. It's not, like, the same pine. It's, like, because it's wet. Peaches is rolling around right now in pain. Should oh. I say moist? <laughs> moist. Moist. Oh, moist. man. Yeah, she's going to moist. moist. Oh, fuck you guys. Moist wood. Moist. <laughs> Moist. I've got peaches. moist wood for you. Ew. Peaches so good, sitting too. on moist but very wood. Nice too. It's just it's nice to smoke. I even even though it's not the craziest flavor, mm -hmm. it's not like I couldn't smoke it a bunch. That's be true. Like, you know, yeah. I wouldn't be upset at the flavor that I was getting. I I like I like yeah. the taste a lot. I think it's a nice gentle taste. It's not overwhelming, but it's not. It, it's not. I don't remember the strain we reviewed that the one time where maybe it was even the last episode. Where we uh, talked about how it's such a good taste that I want more of it. Yeah, that was This awesome. one is a nice, subtle taste that it's just enough. That it's just, for me, it's like this nice little, oh, that's there. This little pop of flavor, and then it's gone. Mm -hmm. There's like almost no aftertaste to it to me. Yeah, no aftertaste for me either. Yeah. So uh, what does uh, Leafly have to say about uh, the, the taste? Honestly, for taste and for smell, they don't have a whole whole lot on it from what I've seen other than it has um, 
uh, can be found, and it's diesel aroma with sweet undertones. That's really kind of all it gives yeah, us. Yeah, I get the diesel from like the pine that I'm kind of getting, and everything else is kind of a, about effect and the and the cross strain. And yeah, the I just not. don't think the flavor is like something crazy. I no, just, it's I not. I don't it's think not. it's a weed that's meant. I don't think it's even really meant to be like this crazy flavor weed. No, no, I, I agree with you. And but... it's not named. You know, it's also not saying like. Peach Banner. Or, no. You know what I mean? Like, you know, something weird. Like, it, yes. It's, it's not named It tastes like Mark Ruffalo's corn. And it's honestly... I it's assume, a lot more I mild assume that's what Hulk, he smells so, like. Yeah. It is a lot more mild than the Hulk. Yeah. yeah. So it would be... Uh, so are we... So, uh... Are we give I give it a, a two so far. Solid I think two. it's a two. I think it's a two. I agree with a two. I think our... our we we all have two chuck a day. Chuck, 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 chuck. That's a two. That's a two. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, shout out to a specific spam... Uh, hey, John Jacob Jacob Hemmerschmidt. No, 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 no. Just wanted to say hey. He's, it's my name, too. I know he's listening all the time, so I just wanted to say. Oh, you're, ta- you're talking about our spam that came on a few weeks back? Uh, Jake and the Fat Man? Yes. Yeah, uh, yes. what was his name? Uh, Jay Vogie? Uh, no, no, it was, uh, Jingle, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle All the Way. Oh, okay. Jingle All the yeah, Way. Yeah, I believe that was his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggy with it. Jiggy. Ja-ja-ja-ja-ja-ja-ja. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks was on. Jack 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 Jack. Uh, Jack 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 Strains at toke, what you're doing right now, Woo! dot com. Dot. Yeah. That's a, it's a real email. Uh, it's real. So, it's really uh, real. Uh, so, uh, are we at, I, I'm so lost. So, I'm high. Uh, are we at, are we at, wacky news? Wacky news! <laughs> Hit by an arrow, mobile phone oh. dies, saving Australian man. What? Whoa. Yeah, isn't that wild? The bomb Man, the that's the pissed. headline? I'm sorry, can you read that one more time? Yes. Hit by an arrow, Come mobile on. phone dies saving Australian man. <laughs> so the, the mobile, the phone, mobile died, phone died, but the man died. survived oh. thanks to the valiant effort wow. of his mobile phone. Yeah, the See, picture's not showing up right now, but yeah, there's, like, there's, I'll be posting it later. Where it's just... There's oh, a, you have yeah. a photo of it? Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, there's a photo of it. Uh, Yes, please. Um, it directly, I mean, this arrow went happen, directly right? through it. Yeah, right? That's, that's, an but how did he take man, the picture? With his other phone? So this is in Australia. Yes. In Australia. I assume that, actually. I don't Melbourne, know why. Melbourne. Oh. Classic. An Australian man had a lucky escape while confronting a man armed with a bow outside his home. As a loosed arrow... Is that what you say when you're saying... Uh-huh. It means when the arrow's been released, it's been yes. loosed. Oh, it's been loosed. Yeah. That's threatening. Yes. Right? A loosed arrow. Now I'm scared. Is you should be scared. If one is shot at you, it's been loosed. Fuck. It's been loosed. A loosed arrow pierced the mobile telephone he was holding to take a photograph of the... In- oh my god, so he was holding it in front of his face, you guys. So he's holding Jesus. it in order to take a picture of the guy Boom. trying to shoot an arrow so that yeah. way the police could identify him. Yes. He and thought that was going to be the last photo he ever took. And huh. the arrow went directly through the phone. Pro- he saw the tip of the arrow just come through the phone a little bit. Wow. That probably would have been wild as fuck. The 43-year-old man had returned on Wednesday to find the man who was known to him waiting outside his home. Oh, was he known to him? Yeah, so apparently this was a this was an assault with, like... Just purpose. a dude that he knew? Yeah. Um, a small east coast town around 150 kilometers, um, 93 miles south of Brisbane. Uh, the resident held up his mobile phone to take a photo of the armed man who then engaged the bow and was ready to fire, a police statement said. It's alleged the man fired the arrow at the resident, which pierced through the man's mobile phone, causing the phone to hit him in the chin. Oh, God. It left a small laceration that didn't require medical treatment. A 39-year-old man was arrested at the scene and charged. And good and charged. Of everyone you know who is most likely to attack somebody with a bow and arrow. Of people you know. Bruce, brother. Yeah. 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 Uh, Yeah. Mo. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> Actually, that's over. That's over, your brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, yeah. For yeah, sure. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. 
so uh, we're on to effects, guys. Oh wow! Uh, I am going to say this is gonna bef- yes. before you go into Leafly because yes. we need to know what Leafly says. What the says. fuck are you gonna say, Sir Fernand? <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 this is some amazing effect. That's what it's pretty say. solid. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Are we ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's okay. Let's do this. When I said let's get it on, I meant the fight. I'm not a raper. Wow. Seriously, that's how we're going to intro to the Leafly, like... What? It's a good quote in... from Stepbrother. I mean, I get... Oh, it's for... Okay. And lots of people will I... get it. They, uh, that's... You write. You write. Two. Yeah. You write. No. Only two? Two people will no. write in and say, I got it. <laughs> hey, but at least they'll be writing in. <laughs> they Jesus. will be writing in. So, ha! Double use? Double use, <laughs> double use. yes. Double use. Ooh, jackass. So, Bruce Banner highlights... Bruce Banner might be best known as the alter ego of comic book hero the Incredible Hulk, but maybe he wouldn't be such a stressed out ball of anger if he just had some of his namesake strength. <coughs> this green monster also has hidden strength and features and features dense nugs that pack the power of very high THC content. Yes. Uh, let's see here. The strain who effects come on quickly. Uh, yeah, quickly yeah. and strong. Oh yeah. And, and, strong, yes. and then tend to settle into a euphoric and creative buzz. I 100% agree with that statement, actually. All Especially right. falling into the euphoric buzz, because the end of that first bowl, I felt me get to that euphoric buzz like yes. five minutes into the right? recording. Okay. Right? Right, yeah, right away. Very much so. Yeah, I love it. I'm, this um, is why it's one of my favorites, guys. I'd it says it myself, just to be the most evident and lingering uh, feeling is more in your head. Would you agree with it? It's more of a head high than a body yes, high. Yes, I've feeling. been needing that, so I'm very happy. I'm that actually this getting is a very nice 50 50. 50 to be it, completely it, honest. Because it does say next, it, um, but it may also provide body relaxation. I'm really good. So getting, it does, really it's both. both. Yeah, I'm really getting both of those. Nice. Things, so. time, bud. Very even. I can't say which one's higher right now, my head or my body. Okay. Yeah, They're both it... on my back is feeling golden right now. Golden? So then, you like know... King Midas. <laughs> yeah, like his hand was all up on my back. Wow. 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 Yeah. You know, he had the Midas touch, but he touched it too much. Ooh. Now he's gold member. Gold yeah. member! Gold member. <laughs> So the we we bar? actually have a fully like, filled bar ooh. on Bruce Banner ooh. on you know how they have their effects yes. on, on Leafly all filled oh, out. The the top bar that is totally full is for happy. I feel happy. You feel pretty happy. I, I feel, feel happy. I I honestly can I even feel, feel like sad. the muscles no, in my sure. face are like a little bit more like relaxed. I feel sad. I'm I'm I feel like I've been touched and I wanted it. Nice. That's a good feeling good. usually. Yeah, no, I, that makes me happy. <laughs> it's a, it's the, the, a way to say that, yep. but I, it's there. The next two that are pretty much tied and almost full. I mean, look at that. That's, that's, You're almost that's full. pretty close. That's pretty close. Um, is relaxed and close. euphoric. Which was? Relaxed and euphoric. Are they relaxed two? and euphoric. I know nothing of that. Nothing like of that euphoria. as you lay, lounge on the love seat over there, Chucky e. D. I don't what else is doing. Rubbing his nipples. <laughs> yeah. Circular motions. And they're going like inwards. Like I can't even say clockwise or counterclockwise because yeah, they're kind of one's doing each. Yeah, it really side is. Side. And that's weird to me. I think you should pick one direction. Pick one direction and go the other. And oh, that's kind of what you're though. doing. I don't... Yeah, they're, back, they're back together. <laughs> are they and the Jonas Brothers? Yeah. Good for them. Yes, they are. You know, oh. you never hear about Hanson having a reunion tour because they never fucking broke up. <laughs> They're still making. <laughs> we, I'm we, just saying these Jonas bitches oh, go away yeah. for a couple of years. Oh, like like them in Jumanji, stop it. <laughs> yes, we I actually like have Jumanji. another full Thank bar you. under the medical section of <laughs> Bruce. Yeah, this one we got full bars for days. For days. So for the medical, it actually shows depression as the top one, and stress comes in as a very, very close second. Yes, like, I it's do not feel than any on, any stress. Yeah. Pain comes in a little bit behind that. Definitely stress-free. 
I can speak for both of those right now, yeah. Uh, the one major negative that is a full bar is dry mouth, but we say that on all of them. So I, I really ass. do, yeah. and I don't think I feel it on every strain. I didn't feel it on the last time. I feel it a I little mean, bit on this one, but I mean, only if they're comparing it to, like, not, not smoking ever. Yeah, not smoking guess, at all. Yeah. Of course I'm going to get dry mouth yeah, sure. versus not smoking. Did we kill smoking. this bowl? Is that why it's... I think so, yeah. we got to put another bowl in. Oh, shit. Uh, rough. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, I think... Uh, are, are we all... Talking effect wise, oh, I'm three. giving that a fucking three. I'm down three. for a three, three on a three. that. Three. Yeah. Sorry, my head and body can't feel like that's me being like, a two. No, I think that's a three. Well, like what? All right, so, I will make it official. Uh, I I easily do this. Like I am I'm very happy stone. actually well, that I brought this. That do you know? I don't. Do you guys feel this? Whenever you bring a strain that you're like, I like this strain. I think we should review this strain. Do you feel an extra sense of pride when it scores high? A little bit. Of course. Yes. Yeah. You're just proud of your suggestion. I, I, but the only anything. category I cared about getting a three on, guys, was right away effect. Because I love this effect so much. I just oh, wanted yeah. you guys to feel well, the effect. Well, I'm very I glad you feel that way. That you feel so happy about the effect. Because right now, I just want to know... If you want to reach us oh, you so <laughs> on Twitter, maybe, <laughs> like, man, how, how, how would you be man. able to... Left and right, man. How would you be able to get a hold of us if yeah, not just man. 42 strains at tope.com, which is a real email? Well, I'd love for you to email me at SurferDan. However, that motherfucker is still pooping, so please still write pooping. to Twitter and say, hey, you know the real Surfer Dan, and he's not still taking a shit. He is instead found over at 42 strains. That's where you can reach me. However, if you'd like to reach Double A, you can find him at Double A twelve forty two. You can find Rue over here at Blazing Roots. Yes. And you can find Chuck Dante at I Heart Chuckaby. <laughs> you can also find the wonderful snacks at Snack Queen and Peaches at Squeaky underscore Peach. Test me, bitch. Yes. Always. That's 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 you're getting good at that. It, I will never not let him. Now. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get it all yeah, out in yes. one breath now, so that way I can just go, fuck it, if I screw we, up, just keep going. We have uh, some warm-ups for school that we do, and why don't you do them? Yeah, you, there, I remember some of those for, for uh, voice, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember voice a few work. of those. Uh, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. We haven't done that Try one. Try and do that a hundred times in one oh, breath. Oh, jeez. So we do, we do the, do you know what to do? That's oh, yes, calculator. yes. We, we oh. do that one. Do we do that? I don't think I can do that anymore. What's it to do? Indivita de Gata. No. Yes. Indivita de Gata. Don't you know what I want you. So uh, now that we've officially... Ooh, I get greens. Absolutely. Now that we officially gave it uh, three, a three, is it time for more <gasps> wacky, wacky news? news. <laughs> I like the little addition of the... Yes. Fuck yeah. I like that. It's a I got thrown. We've got this mountain of trash. Oh Why don't we ski down it? I mean... Well... Okay. That is I mean, hold on. Think about it. When you were a kid, did you ever just find a giant pile of something and go, I want to I want to slide down that? Kind of. I don't think it was ever trash. In but... Copenhagen? It says, what to, do Copenhagen. With... <laughs> what to do with the mountain of garbage a major metropolitan area produces in an age-old question. Copenhagen has come up with a brand new answer. Ski down the mountain. Well, not exactly. The waste Absolutely. is actually inside Copenhill, a waste treatment plant 10 minutes from downtown Copenhagen. Its main facility is a futuristic building with a sloping roof of 85 meters high that's covered in a material called a neverplast. It looks like fake grass. Yeah. You know, it really kind of looks like that. It looks just like a ski slope except it's green. Um, as someone is quoted saying, I think everybody's surprised to start with when they look at it and it's not snow, said Christian Ingalls, the director at Copenhill. It's green, dry slope material. After one or two runs, your mind is automatically adjusting, so you feel exactly like skiing. It was designed by a Danish architect, Bjark Ingels. Bjark? Yeah, Bjark. I think he would pronounce the B. Right? Uh, Bjork Maybe. pronounces it, so yeah, Bjark. But it's probably Bark. Bark. <laughs> oh, Bjark. Bjark. Because Bjork is B J like that. Oh, so, so Bjark. So Bjark. Bjork. Bjork. Bjork Angles. Bjork Angles. Yeah. Bjork Angles. The plant is eight. The plant. It's how it was said. The Bjork Angles. Are we racist? No. No. <laughs> no, but we're I just, like no. We're just pointing out the obvious. Pull, pull you know, if somebody in Copenhagen is like, that's not how you say that, they should email us. They should email us. Please. So there we any go. Any of our listeners from Copenhagen area uh, knows how to pronounce Bjork English <laughs> um, correctly. 
the plant is an important step in Copenhagen's ambition to become the world's first carbon neutral capital. It's Ooh. an attempt to build a waste treatment plant that local residents are happy to see come to their neighborhood. It seems to be working. Quote, it's a fantastic experience in the middle of a city to be able to do what you do like the most, said visiting skier Pale Hansen. Instead Pell. I believe that's Pell. Pell I've Hansen. seen the name like that before. Instead of having to go six, seven, eight, or ten hours to a ski destination, you can be here in ten minutes. The plant will also burn waste from around 600,000 residents and 68,000 businesses to produce electric electricity and district heating. It will be sent back to the residents. It will also recycle some of the waste. Huh. The plant began operation in 2017, and the recreational part will open permanently this spring. The slope will open year-round. Quote, it's fantastic that one ski without snow, one can ski without snow, said Ski School visitor Tommy Christensen. It's a, sli- it's a slightly <laughs> different experience than just skiing in real snow, but it's my second run, and I'll try it again. It looks promising. Nice. Okay. In a very unique and cool way, and yeah. there's definitely a video. It looks kind of crazy. Nice. Yeah. Very maybe, cool. Maybe uh, maybe tweet out that video. Ooh, maybe tweet yeah. out the link to that video. Yeah, I think so. And then that oh, way, uh, at good. some point in time, our listeners. Oh my god, our listeners will. I think the title's well enough. Our spam will figure out. Yeah, but if they want to watch the video. Uh, I yeah. just like didn't need to add anything to the tweet. I just it yeah. tweets the title and it's like yeah that's Done. gonna that's get somebody enough. be like what go. the heck are they talking about? Right. Uh, so we're on to the L last. Ooh, last. What are we thinking last was? We're on bowl two right now. We're on bowl two currently. I'm pretty blazed. I'm I'm pretty high. That was how high are you right now? Higher. I'm but higher. I, I still feel the body tingles I started getting from the first one. Yeah. So they intensify the a little bit, crazy. not a whole lot. Are these but bad body less? tingles? Or are they no, not for me? They're good. No, no, they're nice. It's in my arms, close to my elbows. It goes up to my shoulders. Mm-hmm. It's freaking nice. Okay, Rue. I think it's got a really solid last. It feels like I don't. I don't feel like this is gonna wear off like you know an hour after we're done smoking. I feel like if we were to stop for a while, I would be solid for a little bit. I've been smoking pretty steady on Bruce Banner for the last couple of weeks, mm-hmm. and uh, I tend to notice that it plateaus early, but then that plateau just has Flat a longevity forever. that is, and it's not a it bad plateau. Sense. It doesn't plateau under where you want to be. It gets you to where you want to be. Yeah. Goes no higher, no ha- matter That's how much I more you was smoke. Great about the tingles, but like, just the keeps going yeah. for a very yeah. long time. I, I can see why they put like creative and that kind of thing in the leafly I've description. I've been doing a lot of writing on because, this. Because yeah, it keeps you in the mindset where you can keep smoking it, but you're not going to get so high that you're just forget what you're working on or have to keep rereading a sentence if you're writing because you're like, oh, shit, what I just did. You know, you you keep that clear mindedness that you can keep working and keep going but That's, still have that uplifted creativity. Exactly. That is exactly how I feel on that. I'm going to give it a three for me personally. Yeah. So All right. Double A says a three. Coming out swinging. Chuck Dante. It's a three. It's a three. <laughs> Rue? That's all he has to say about <laughs> it. Rue? I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I agree with the three. Uh, doesn't matter what solid. I say at this point, but I say it's a three. Fuck yeah. Bruce Banner, I give a three. Look at so that. So we give it a three. So uh, do you have... Yet another thing of uh, wacky news for us? Wacky news! <laughs> Tinder for cows matches livestock in the mood for love. <laughs> Tinder for cows. Ooh, yes. Come on, Bessie. <laughs> We're going to get you right. A Tinder-inspired up. app is helping farmers match up potential partners for their cattle in Petersville, England. Called Tutter. Of course it is. (laughs) That sounds appropriate. A mix of dating app Tinder and Utter. It lets farmers swipe right on cattle they like the look of. They are then directed to a page on the Sell My Livestock website where they can browse more pictures and data about the animals before deciding whether to buy. Valuable information is available on matters like milk yield and protein content, calving potential... Um, is explained by Doug Barner, CEO of Hector Agriculture, which runs Sell My Livestock, and Graindex, a UK-based online ar- agritech trading platform. Matching livestock online is even easier than it is to match humans because there's a huge amount of data that sits behind those wonderful animals that predicts what their offspring will be, he said. Launching just in time for Valentine's Day, the makers believe her Tutter is... Just the- in time for Valentine's yeah. Day. <laughs> Tutter is the first ever matchmaking app for livestock. 
As with the human equivalent, farmers are, use smartphones to first choose whether they are looking for a male or female, swiping through photos, right for yes, left for no, until they find a match. Putting Instead of swipe left and swipe right, though, they, they say uh, move along. Oh move along. Move right. Move left. <laughs> uh, Oh, Cattle goodness. farmer and Tutter user James Bridger said it eases transport that joke was stress. Utter disaster. <laughs> oh man, it was a bovine. Oh Jesus! Why? <laughs> so many. I'm just, I'm just trying to. You need to just headache. plow through this, man. I'm just trying to get a headache. You gotta <laughs> terrible bugs. You gotta take the bull Welcome by the horns. We got strange. all these going. Cattle Puns farmer. Cattle farmer James Bridger says you've got all this data of its background and everything, which if you're at a market, you might not have had the time to go through for every single random animal. So he said the app even makes it easier to find these because it's like everything's right there. We're at like a live event where they're buying yeah. cattle. It's not always like right in front See, of you. See, back in my day, if you wanted to just randomly pick up a cow, you had to do it the old-fashioned way. Go to the <laughs> state fair. And be like, that and cow you can take that good. however you want. Yep. Yep. There's nothing better Oh, you mean like whores. Absolutely. Sort of. Big Absolutely. Big horse. We More want like cores. Cores. Cow horse. Usually you 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 get one of but, those jumbo. But moors. what if I want a horse? Moors. If you want a horse, just yeah. go to Wilson Lane. I'm right oh, okay. here. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, that's what she's Come on. So my livestock is listed over 50 million pounds, approximately $64 million wow. of livestock, feed and bedding to sell in the last year, dispelling notions that farmers are stuck in the past, Berner said. Despite the rest of the world's view of farming, it's actually very technologically driven, he said, citing precision spraying, automated dairy units, and genetic science. He's very correct on that. Really. Yeah. Farming is very advanced. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's moves forward. It does move forward. Move <laughs> Move it along. Move it along? Alright, so smoothness. Move it along. Move it along. Uh, smoothness. smoothness. Uh, uh, I, I, I haven't heard a lot, a lot of coughing. No. I haven't, but I'm definitely getting dry mouth now. Yeah. Definitely getting the dry and, mouth. And my throat's I, feeling it a bit. It's, it's not even so much that the throat hurts. It's just when you're smoking yeah. it, there's like this heaviness to the back. Yeah, of I can your feel throat. heat behind this weed. It feels like uh, when you you're at a loud like concert or something, and you've been talking loudly to yeah, your friends to hear bit. each other yeah. at a festival or something. Yeah, I give it a next day I give it a two just for that. But that's I agree. I don't think it makes me. It doesn't make me cough really. It's just no. like I'm like, ooh, if I smoke this all day, my throat would be pretty. Ooh, fresh. water. Yeah, no, I I I definitely say a two as well. Chuck a D. My, my throat feels like it's in the Savannah. In the Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh la la. Jeez. Savannah, ooh la la. The Havana. I'm only coughing because I got to go to the Savannah. <coughs> yeah, so like a two. Like a two. I, I, what about you, Ro? It's not a one because it's not harsh. No, definitely not. It's not harsh at all. What are you giving it? I'm giving I'm giving it two. Two, so wow. Unanimous two. You, you unanimous wow. dos. We're doing dos good. Unanimoso. I don't know how to say. Uh, this weed's doing good. This weed is doing great. You're right. You're right. This weed is doing uh, great. I'm doing great. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look like you're like melting into the couch there. Just a bit. I'm a PSA commercial from the nineties. <laughs> about <laughs> what your. Oh my God! You are. Oh. That's amazing. Oh. I remember that PSA. Chuck Dante used to be cool, but now all he does is sit around and smoke pot. Uh, <laughs> and that's so, all we do. Uh, Rue, if you can reiterate what we gave it tells for pot. Bruce Banner. I don't know. Take your hit. Hurry up. And then, no, I, I'm... Go, I'm, go, 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 I'm go, 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 Oh, we got plenty of time. We're, we're so good. good. The dog comes up and it's like all talking to her like Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> Take me on a walk. <laughs> Wait, I can't because I just smoke. Yeah, I just smoke. <laughs> I just smoke. Uh, for our Bruce Banner, our official tells ratings are a two for taste, a three for last, or sorry, a three for effect. A three also for last, and a two for smoothness. Two, three, three, two. Two, two three, 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 two. Thank you very much. Uh, we get nice little patterns in our ratings. We, we do. Look at that. We do. Look it's pretty. That. You're a nice little pattern. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I wonder. Try. I wonder if you could translate it to music. 
Like, if you look at, if you go back to the beginning, I wonder what kind of tone or little, what we've played so far. But you only have three times, you could do it on trumpet, or like, yeah. or, um, I can't think of the name now, never mind, I'm too high. Say, oh, show me your pit. Yes. Trombone? Could do trombone. If I was camping right King now. King of the Forest? Tuba. If I was, like, late spring camping right now, like, just before it got too hot, oh, then yeah. I could just sit on a rock mm-hmm. and be high on this right now. Feet dangling in a stream. Yeah, I want to be in a nice hammock. Camping stream. It, it yeah, is just. A I want to be, be nice. in a hammock mm. and pretending I'm playing a ukulele. Pretending you're playing. Yeah, I'll have one in my hand. <laughs> so you'll be like strumming a little too far away. So if somebody pushed your hand down, it would suddenly start making music. Yeah. Like beautiful music. Right? <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, it I would. like that. I'll just I like that just... a lot. I like that. Yeah, it's just, it is relaxing. I'm very much feeling that, but it's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like sleeping necessarily, no. but I could no. just so relax right now, like yeah. for a while. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Chuck D, I know you're ready to be be done for the day. Melty. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, Chuck D is really showing his older age now. He's a fried Aww. egg. He's a fried oh, egg. At least I'm no surfer dance. The sun's going Oh, you're down. right. You're right. I'm awake, motherfucker. <laughs> you're also a thousand and one. <laughs> You've been awake older. forever, dude. <laughs> Every time I turn around, I'm getting older. Getting older. Uh... So, uh, oh, oh, oh. I have a, I have a question for, uh, <laughs> right now and then. Uh, I have a question for everybody here in the room. Yes. Uh, Even the dogs? Yes. And, uh, a question for our spam at home <laughs> who can reach us at 42 strains at toke.com. It's, it's, really it's a real email. You it's number four. It's number son two. Of a it's the word strains. It's the at symbol. It's T O K E dot com. And you can reach us there. So, Spam, please reach out to us, and we will love to hear from you. But the question that I have, well, we've got a few minutes left before the end, and we'll wrap it up with this, is uh, um, what's been your recent obsession while smoking? Like, uh, a lot of people play video games while smoking. A lot of people listen to music. A lot of people watch movies, read comics, read books, uh, paint. Uh do you get in grooves sometimes? So, and then um, what has been your recent groove? I would say during the daytime right now, it's actually been really nice. I'll either be on like some heavy music only, like while I'm kind of fiddling on my phone or not doing anything really. Music's been great while I'm getting like you know laundry done where I can just kind of sit and chill. At nighttime though, because of my you know just insomnia, I'm usually just up later than everybody. I've actually been um, like jamming through shows while like just. You know, I'll finish a bowl off over the course of, like, five episodes of something. You know what I mean? Like, like what? What has um, there been your show? So shows? I went through Shit's Creek. Okay. Uh, that show is hilarious. The dad in it is um, the dad from American Pie. Yeah. Eugene really Lee. funny. The rest of the people I actually don't really recognize if they've been in any other thing. Chris Elliott you didn't recognize from that show? Is that the woman? No, Chris Elliott's the uh, bald guy. Oh, yes. Mayor, yeah, I recognize You know what's funny? I recognize him from Osmosis Jones. Isn't that weird? That is weird. That's a weird, right? That is right? weird. And reference. I know I shouldn't. I know there's no, other ones really I definitely shouldn't. see, that's but I'm like, him in the zoo, man, that's a just large like... large degree. I saw that in theaters. Of course you did. Um, I, so I finished that off a while ago. That was um, been great. I can't wait to watch the new season. It was actually really crazy. I got... I didn't know how much it was, but the season, the season finale of the last season was, like, very, like, <laughs> relationship, <laughs> like, a gay couple gets together that you've been rooting for the whole season. A Apparently, Chuck gets Dante together. has no respect for your, your words. <laughs> or your He's just going to slowly die over what you're trying to say. <laughs> you're trying to say these things about a show you're recommending, so our spam might go... Oh, I've been looking for something to watch while high. Fuck it, let's watch Shit's Creek. But instead, all we're hearing is. <laughs> Could you die quieter? Could you die quieter? God damn. So Would you like it... some water, Chuck Dante? I got so some water it's a right very. Uh... Do you need some water, Chucky? I'm fine. Chucky, it... you sure? It's a very negative situation turned positive with a lot of funnies. And then there's these people you don't really root for at the beginning because you find out they're very entitled, like rich people, and they're yes. like. We were like, wow, you underappreciate everything, and then they have to move to this small town that the dad, as a joke, bought his son for his birthday. They have to go stay in a motel in this tiny town called Shit's Creek. Mm-hmm. And it just, that's S-C-H-I-T-T. how it starts. S-C-H-I-T-T. Yeah, because that's the last name of the family that's con- that's always lived in the town yeah. or whatever. Okay. It's 
it starts off that way, and it just you kind of you see them grow into this into this little town, and like they meet these people there, they go through relationships, and okay. like now that I, and I, just I might have to give it another four. try because I watched the first two episodes and I hated it. it. I think it I think it's a very kind of rough start, it, and if you don't if you don't like it through three, I just probably wouldn't try it. It's definitely no. not. It's definitely a niche thing. I just think there's a big niche for it with a lot of people. Good use of niche. Check um, Dante, what has been your... Wait, hold on. Oh, more. sorry. There's I'm sorry. Show. Sorry, sorry. And I think it just deserves mention because Judd Apatow is the writer. He wrote mm-hmm. Knocked Up, Super Bad, like that group. He's with that group a lot. Cool. Some good films. Um, it's called Love. It, it's on Netflix, correct? Yes, it's on Netflix. Yes. <laughs> it is just a super crazy, funny story about these two opposite end of the spectrums type of fucked up that really end up, like, finding this crazy way to love each other and grow together. Mm. And it's just, I don't know, I think it's, like, one of the coolest adaptations of a love story put on screen. And it's got some great, um, like, guest directors. I remember seeing some names I recognize. I can't really think of them right now. But Fisher there's some, Yeah, because I'm really stoned right now. Yeah, I see that. Um, but there's that definitely, eyes. like, some good guest directors on there where you're like, oh, wow, he's directing this episode? That's cool. Or she's directing this episode? That's cool. Really good acting, too. Nice. Yeah. All right. Check it D. Do you have any obsession lately that you've been watching over and over again or doing over and over again? Or... <coughs> um, <coughs> no. No? no? Okay. No. Rue, what about you? Um, I've been doing like some kind of world building stuff for a story I'm working on lately. Okay, so a lot so of creative like, outlets for you? Yeah. Working on just, it's not really like just writing or just, you know, there's some sketching. So, creating. Yeah. Creating. Just, just creating. Yeah. yeah. So just kind of in general, I, like I guess. That. I like That's that. sort of vague, but yeah. I've been uh, falling down a rabbit hole of uh, people sharing stories online about parallel dimensions and about uh, like glitches in the Matrix and things. They like. are crazy. Uh, I love it. I love it. It's something I absolutely dig, and it's uh, it's just the idea of of the parallel universes being so close that people could accidentally pass back and forth, and wouldn't they be considered mad if they noticed the differences and spoke them out loud? So, uh, I've been digging a lot of those, and okay. it's, it's just, it send, I look for things to give a pleasant chill down my spine, mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. and that gives a nice little pleasant chill Ooh, down yeah. my spine when nice. I hear a lot of the good ones of those. Heck yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, I think that's about wraps it up, because we're right about 42 minutes here. So, Ooh. until next time, stay high, stay golden. And And smoke with you soon. Oh, shit. Scared of him. She wants to touch me, she wants to love me.